What's up, YouTube? It's your man, King Devin. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping into episode 6 of Mob Cycle 100, season 2. Last episode was pretty intense. We had Mob dealing with some internal affairs inside the the body of Asagari, but it was like his own personal mental battle going on within. But yeah, it was an interesting episode. We got rid of Mogami Kiji, and you know, Mob has learned that people can change. People in the world, they may be this way one day, but listen, anything's possible. It's possible for people to change. He learned a lot about others and about himself, and we got to see pretty ass Mob with the pretty ass eyeballs, um, you know, turn up with an explosion of positive emotions, 100% positivity, just all positive things, okay? So, um, yeah, I think we kind of concluded that bit of, you know, um, Mob Psycho, that little Mogami Kiji arc, but he's not going to be completely gone because we know that one upper echelon dude who controls, who captures, um, you know, spirits, uh, he, he, he actually left with Mogami in, in a little container. So I feel like that's just like a little sign that we might get Mogami Kiji back near the end, but I don't know. Maybe he'll be a good guy. Maybe he'll be a bad guy. I feel like it's more leaning towards him. He's not going to be friendly since, you know, he wasn't friendly this time, but hey, I guess we'll just see what happens. So yeah, I'm not sure what to expect now. I feel like it's just going to go to a different part from here because like I said, we just concluded that Mogami, Mogami Kiji part. And um, I just feel like this is going to start something brand new, which may take us down a rabbit hole into the, the plot of this season. So, hey, with that being said, let's just jump in episode six and see what happens. Let's go. All right, four years ago. Okay, we're doing a throwback. Throwback, no Thursday. Thank you for your business. Oh, you see the one on the, all the laptops, the creator? Uh, and he got it on the phones. My man, a businessman. In his world, he the richest. Oh, wow. We going back into Reagan past. Interesting. This before he started his own business, entrepreneur. Or maybe he, he bought this. I don't know. Damn, my man, top of his head was shiny. Yeah. Oh, he rented this, this apartment? Nice little, I want that sweatsuit. Yo, I rock it, for real. You can become a millionaire. Uh, please, thank you. 31. Get them crunches in or they push-ups. Either way, get that freaking exercise and build that body molded into a perfect being. Become the perfect being, mob. Please. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's celebrate. Yeah, the confidence is building. With more confidence, he'll want to keep trying to be better. He looks bolder. I told y'all, Mob changing the most. Oh, they finna toss you, bro. Happy birthday! <laughs> uh, bro, you too big. Oh, no. Oh, we gonna have a party party. Nice idea! I like that. <laughs> My man, stay with the salt. Next, he gonna give her that massage. Rub her down real nice. Have her feeling young again. Hey, that's what happened when you post the website, man. People is more inclined to, you know, hit you up on the internet than anything. You gonna have real gains. Wow, he'll be average if he goes for another, for another six months. Yeah, he gonna take y'all bodies and take it to another level. Oh yeah, we were doing that at the end of last season. That's when we ran into old boy with the mohawk. I forget his name. What kind of juices we drinking here, y'all? Girl, wipe your face. Be ladylike, please. You got crumbs everywhere. Look at him socializing, being normal, hanging out at public events with friends. Oh, but now I gotta work. God damn, I would ignore that one, Mob. He like you ruined it. Oh, let's go, Mob. I'm not doing your bidding today. Oh, look at him. Like I said last episode, my man standing up for himself. Telling you out right now, bro. I'm at dinner. I'll come later. Mob, say it. Bruh, he, he stood up to his, for, for himself to some degree, but he's still going to end up going. Oh my god, he died on Tofu. Tofu head. 
He like he got an upside down thong on his head. <laughs> he got upside down thong on his head, y'all. What is happening? This is like the same exact location from episode one of the first season. Why does they? Why are they always in this same exact? It looks exactly the same every time, like abandoned buildings. What are you people doing in these abandoned buildings anyway? That's what I never understand. Talk to him, mob. Tell him you got stuff to do sometime. No, bro. I was out with friends eating dinner. Wow, Ring kind of a dick right here. I'm going to keep keep it honest with you. He don't see what's happening. Wow, Reagan, don't be like this, please. You, I'm not feeling you right now. He, he, I think he just don't, he's not even aware of what, how Mop's feeling right now. Yeah, just a, just a little bit, bro. Uh-oh. Look at him standing up for himself, Reagan. You tripping? Slow down. That's all I'm gonna say. Like we know, we all know Reagan cares for for Ma, but like right then, I feel like he wasn't really he he was oblivious to how Ma was feeling. But I don't think he will at this point. He has a, a few friends, and he has Ritsu at the very least. I gotta make my own, you know, I gotta decipher myself what's right sometimes. I gotta do me. An independent woman. You don't need no man. You feel me? That's what I try to be in life, y'all. Independent woman. I don't need no man. <laughs> oh my god. Steam yoga. It probably smell like four fat chicks on an elevator slap boxing. <laughs> with chili and cooking in the background. <laughs> uh, what is he doing? What is this laugh, Reagan? Please chill. I don't know what's going on with Reagan this episode, but he's... he's he, yeah. I don't know, man. He need to sleep that off, bro. Damn, so he ain't been there for a minute? Look at him. He's still doing his thing. Finesse and hustling. Opie, I like that shirt. But he out with his friends, you know, socializing. Oh, he even got a new outfit on. You see that hoodie? And look at you. Look at you. With the dirt face. Looking stupid. Look at Dimple. He know what he's doing. Stirring the pot. <laughs> I don't get why Reagan is tripping over my man wanting to be, you know, a kid for once. Yeah, he just he just being normal for once. Like he don't want to do deal with spirits and demons every day. He want to be a kid for once. Jesus Christ, Reagan, you tripping? Maybe you need a woman. I never even considered that. I'm putting an application in for Reagan's girl in my comment section, please. If you're interested in dating Reagan Sama, I'm, I'm gonna see if you qualify for. A great man like him, so uh, <laughs> let me know if you're interested in the conversation. <laughs> Watch it be mob from a while ago. Oh, congratulations. What is it? Just a message from Facebook? Friend book? Oh, wait, is it birthday? Oh my god. He ain't gonna handle friends. Watch. Here's a gift. Hey, make sure that ain't no virus, bro. Okay, this episode is really focusing on Reagan a lot. What do you recruit invitation? Oh, a job. Jesus. Yeah, Reagan is going through it right now. Midlife crisis? What's happening? Where are your audience at? Y'all don't have no... Oh, okay, that is mob. I'm about to say, who was on that tambourine like that? Trash. Now I kind of feel bad for him, though. But, like, why did you have to be that way to... Bro, your chin is strong. Oh, he got friend friends for real, but they don't, they're not real friends because they don't know nothing about him. <laughs> bro, ain't nobody come here to hear you talking, bro. I want to drink and relax. <laughs> okay, so here he that guy he with the best advice. Reagan, you need better friends. You talking about mob, your circle's trash. 
For real, for real, all you really got is mob and dimple. You need a girl. I'm telling y'all, like I said, in my comments, hello. Get at him. Look at you trying to sell to me on my birthday. I don't want your dirty pillow. This memory foam though. Uh, it might be it might be worth that much, but it still ain't gonna get bought. And the ice all melted? So I know well, it's watered down. Interesting. Don't get mugged on your way home from this sketchy ass bar in the back of an alleyway. Why is there a bar? You walk down the alley and it's just a bar. That's that's sketchy as hell. What is this, Tokyo Ghoul? I think he just stressed. Alright. Now, now I'm concerned. Now I'm concerned for his health. I don't know what's going on with him, but... Yeah, he tripping, tripping, y'all. I don't know what's happening. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought somebody... He... I'm just like, or is he being dramatic again? I don't know if he's being dramatic or not, but like, I'm concerned with him not being with Mob and him not being his normal, like, energetic self. I don't know. Oh, he getting a new job. Okay. He working to clean the city. Look at that Chucky doll. I see the reference. The good guy dolls. I seen it. My man became the best at the new RPG. He's number one, Reagan Sama. My man got six monitors, bro. I'm kind of jealous. My man didn't kill the player. He a PK. Look at this, bro. Turned to a zombie, bro. You need you need better nutrition. You need you need some sunlight. Hey, he propelling himself up though on his own without mob, so. Can't be too mad. What? Where is this coming from? This episode was so weird. And now they want him on TV. My my man don't have no eyebrows. That's why he looks strange. If y'all worry worried about you know if y'all was concerned why he looked a little strange, he don't have eyebrows. <laughs> One week later. Oh my god. What are these outfits? Come on, come on, Reagan. Hold it together. Do you? You got it. Look at Jodo. He like, why this fool here, bro? Whoa, whoa, get out of my mind. Yeah, Jodo ain't too friendly. He trying to expose him. That's what he trying to do. Bro, you was possessed because you so trash. And now you out here trying to embarrass somebody. I think his goal is to make, um, to expose Reagan for being fake. But I feel like Reagan can handle this on his own. Let me check for it after seeing credit, but it might not be one. All right, so this episode was not what I was expecting. All right, I knew cause because we finished the Mogami Kiji situation, we were going to go somewhere new. What I wasn't expecting was... A slice of life episode for Reagan. A Reagan Sama focused episode. Like, okay, there was some mob moments in there. You know, mob is standing up for himself. Like I said, the growth of mob is, is there. It's, it's noticeable, right? He he stands up for himself. And usually, like when he called him, I was thinking mob going to stand up for himself. And I'm like, maybe he won't because it's Reagan, right? And, and maybe he's concerned that Reagan might actually need his help. So for that reason, he'll always go to Reagan. But, like, I was surprised that when he went there, he told him, like, listen, I got my own life. I, this isn't my life. I don't just, it doesn't just revolve around you. You know, I'm making friends. I, and I'm being invited to things now. I have a social circle, right? I got a little circle of friends that I enjoy being with. And I'm missing a lot of time with them. I'm a child. I need these moments so that I can grow and develop properly. I cannot be around a grown man exercising demons and spirits every day, right? I need a break. And that's all I think it is. I think Mob just needs... A break. I'm, I don't think he's just going to be like, you know, Reagan, goodbye forever. No, that's not it. He's probably going to come back next episode, to be honest. But this episode has was a little break that they needed away from each other, right? But the whole situation with Reagan is it's just interesting. Like, it was, it was very apparent that he was more concerned about losing Mob than Mob was about, you know, taking that little break from, from him. And that was clear when he was talking to, you know, Dimple. He tried to make Dimple basically take his side, like, yo, we need to get Mob 
back working with me because if not, then you ain't going to get what you really want. But really, that's just, I, I don't know. I feel like Reagan was a little selfish this episode. Like, one, when he was talking to Mob in, the, in you know, that abandoned building, I feel like he wasn't really being um, aware of how Mob was feeling in that moment. He was just talking, you know, saying things without really thinking about what he's saying. And he, he caught that immediately. You know, he said too much. He was out of line. Okay. But, like, I feel like he, he he was a little selfish this episode, the first half. You know, he was only concerned about him. You know, he wanted Mob there for him. And I feel like he needs to relax a little bit. That, it, it, I don't know. That, that didn't seem like normal Reagan to me. I don't know. And then it was his birthday, so now I'm feeling sad for him. He spent his birthday, you know, at a bar with some weirdos that's trying to sell him stuff, pyramid scheme and cultists. I don't want no involvement with y'all. And then, you know... From that moment, I guess he, he he realized that, you know, maybe I need to just be a better me right now. I need this time away from Mob to just better myself. So, he you know, he cleaning up the community. He's he's exercising people still. He's he's getting rid of, he's becoming the best at, you know, WoW, you know, best RPG. He, he doing his thing, right? And I don't know. I don't know. The episode definitely wasn't what I was expecting. And, and where this left off is still leaving me in a place where it's like, I don't really know what the next episode could be. That's a good thing, though, where, you know, it's not it's not negative to the point where it's like you everything that happened was supposed to take you somewhere specific. and You're supposed to know. I feel like sometimes with Mob Psycho, the episodes are designed for you just, you know, when they end, you just you don't really know what's going to happen. And that's the that's the. You know, the charm of Mob, not always knowing what to expect. It's not so obvious. It's not so cliche of a show. So I really enjoy not knowing or what, what to expect next. But yeah, I do have a assumption, obviously, just regarding how it ended, that Mob, I mean, that, you know, Jodo is going to try to expose Reagan for being a fake, even though his re- he just built his reputation up. So his, his goal is probably to, you know, expose him. But um, hopefully that doesn't work. Other than that, I don't know. I doubt the whole episode is just going to be Jodo and Reagan on this talk show. So like I said, I don't know. And hopefully, you know, him and him, him and Mob get back on their grind and do their thing. But like I said, I don't think Mob's wrong for wanting to, you know, be a kid. You know, be normal for once. I don't want to be exercising demons every day. I don't want to do it. I am young. I have a life to live, all right? I got friends, and they having all these social outings and events, and they're inviting me, and you, you interrupt me. Don't call. I don't even think Mob is, is mad that he's calling him. I feel like he's upset that you call me without notice like give me the heads up so that i can make plans accordingly like say he wanted to go out to, to dinner on friday like mom needs to, to to say that as well let him know like listen i'm doing this this weekend i can't do anything this is my day off but at the same time reagan needs to be considerate and you know think that maybe you know mom might have friends and that's what that's what he was not doing in the you know when they were exercising that goals he wasn't being considerate of mob and what mob might have going on. And he kept calling him like, what do you, like, grow up. You don't have friends. That's basically what Reagan was saying. That's why I wasn't really feeling him. But good episode. It was interesting. Um, Yeah, I don't really know where we're going to go from here. But listen, I'm looking forward to it. Reagan, get it together. Mob, hey, you, you, you keep doing you. You know, stand up for yourself. I'm always proud to see that, the growth, the development of mob growing up. I'm always good with that. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. But, you know, rekindle your relationship. Start fresh. And get back on y'all thing. Y'all know we need them shenanigans. Stop playing with me. <laughs> but listen, if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell. Join my naughty gang. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.